Hi everyone, welcome to the roundup for 8th of July. First, a quick update with an eye on the results of TCS coming up this week. I'm releasing a video later today, which contrasts the entire IT sector. Actually, five stocks, TCS, Infosys, HCL, Wipro and Persistent. So watch out for the video if you're interested in the IT sector. While Nifty, all the big boys are busy playing passing the parcel. The sector which stood out today was consumption. That too with fantastic volumes. ITC after going nowhere, lesser than 50% mark was up 2.5%, Nestle up a percent, Tata Consumer up 1%, Marico 4%. Similarly, HUL was up 1.5%, Godrej 4%. Nearly each and every stock was up, that too on very high volumes. This is, this is perhaps indicative of the general expectation that the budget will put money in the pocket of people and that is usually good for the consumption sector. There are significant large players in both of these tables which are far far away from the 52 week high so there could be a big run up in some stocks if this sector picks up look at hul png nestle adani wilmer even tata consumer that is way away from 52 week high there is nothing wrong with these stocks actually many of them actually corrected significantly after the election results FIDI data is not reflecting much of an interest fii net buyer just 61 crore DI bought 2900 crore. The buy and sell values also are not very, very high. The budget date is formally announced. It is now 23rd. So about 15 days to go for the union budget. But between that, there are significant amount of big results coming up. The green tick means Ixigo's results were good. The stock has run up a lot since the result declaration on 4th of July. I have to hold my stocks, about 15,000 of them till Christmas probably. Hope the stock remains up till that time. RBI for some reasons is really upset with the microfinance sector. Couple of months back it was the stress test, NBFC issues. Now it has asked microfinance lenders to go slow in Bihar and UP. The two biggest territories for microfinance. Now while the defaults may be high say 5%, 10% in the months to come for which RBI is advising this. The stocks have already taken a beating 20-30% down in the last 2-3 months. Also, the NPAs of this sector were not more than 20% even during the pandemic. Because of the floods, the people need money in these two states. Are we saying microfinance, please don't give them money. I don't know where the people will go. So this direction at this point of time is totally unclear to me. On the other hand, railway stocks continue to fire up. RVNL, IRFC, the entire pack is going up significantly. If you watch any channel right now or any business news site, there is speculation going on on everything that is budget, that there will be money in the pocket, taxes will be cut and the expectations from each sector. I don't expect anything related to income tax at least to be changed, at least not for the better. Meanwhile, VIX has started shooting up, uncertainty is back, Reliance continued to anchor the markets supported by ICICI. Today it was a turn of TCS to correct, HDFC corrected a bit more. SBI after the false euphoria on Friday fell a bit today. Infosys was up. So were the consumption stocks, HUL, ITC. Infosys has been up for last five days consecutively. Gold was down a bit. Silver was up. Bitcoin after falling for several days is up a bit. Rupee strengthened. Brent down. Nifty did not go anywhere. Bank Nifty down half percent. Nifty IT did not go anywhere. Nifty Energy up a bit, Nifty Next 50 up 0.1%, Defense up very very little. So while percentages may appear selectively high or low, the markets are losing interest effectively right now. US markets are looking good, Meta up 6%, Tesla is on a roll, US markets in anticipation of a rate cut soon, they are rocking right now. Look at Microsoft and Apple. I talked about HDFC, SBI and Yes Bank on Friday. SBI and Yes Bank corrected. HDFC should have gone up a bit but it chose to correct. I think HDFC will come out of its slumber soon and it will start going up again. And Bank Nifty expiry on Wednesday is going to be very interesting. Look at these chart patterns of Bank Nifty. It looks like an artist drawing. There is actually no pattern. There is no trend. What will you take a trade on? The pattern game continues. TCS, ATL for example. They are opposite of each other today. ICICI and Reliance held the market together. Same with Infosys. HDFC was a bit choppy. Overall not a deep cut. SBA also the fall was not much. The trading range also was very small about 5 points. The consumption stocks were up continuously. Banking public sector is not looking good at all. All of the stocks have been falling and falling continuously. Defense stocks were selective today. HL was up. BL was up. 
some of HL and BL are a seesaw of the shipping companies. Today, Mazgaon Dock corrected, GRSE fell, Cochin Shipyard fell, but HL and BL were up. BL was up 2%. These are very large stocks and they usually don't move like Mazgaon Dock and GRSE. Metals are looking super bearish, all of them down nearly. Everything, nothing spared. IT sector was mixed bag, TCS fell, next three stocks were up. However, the sector went nowhere. Persistent corrected a lot 4% today. While creating the video which I'll release later today, I figured out that Persistent did an acquisition in US because of which it was going up for the last one week. But that acquisition is very small, about $20 million, out of which they have to pay $15 million right now. It won't make any significant dent to their PL for this quarter, zero, and next quarter also not much. And Persistent now is trading at a lifetime high PE. Energy sector. The power producers and distributors were down a lot today. But in the oil pack, Reliance was up, ONGC was up another 4%. Both of them are in the 52% zone. This is terrific news for the sector. The sector was up 1%. Banks, IRFC was a superstar, 7.33% up. Besides that, the sector actually went nowhere. Volumes also were pretty low except for IRFC and PFC. Aerospace and defense, like I mentioned, HL and BL were up, rest everyone was down, not deep cuts but reasonable correction. No surprises, the sector which contributed most today was oil and gas, followed by food and tobacco, personal and household. What was dragging the indices down, banking, metal, textile, pharma, electrical utilities and IPPs. Let's check some of the key sectors. Automobile deep cuts, the sector was down 0.8%. Construction and engineering, the standout today was RBNL yet again, up. Another 15%. This is another rail stock that I had bought on Thursday. It has gone up nearly 35% in two days now. The volumes were fantastic for RVNL. This is budget buying. I don't know till what point the rally will continue, but I will hold these stocks for a few more days at least. While construction engineering was looking pretty, construction materials, which is cement pack, was down and down a lot. Adani Enterprises down yet again. The controversies don't seem to be stemming. Investment banking mixed pack. Heavy machinery sector was bleeding today. The sector was down 0.75%. PHL actually saved the sector, otherwise it would have been down a lot more. Metals and mining, everything down. Oil and gas related equipment and services appearing again and again in the top performers. This covers three main companies, Petronet LNG, Aegis Logistics and the Great Eastern Shipping Company. Pharma Deep Cuts, Divi's Lab was down 4%. Telecom Bharti was up a bit and anything with rail inside it is going up. Railtel up 2.95%. Nifty mixed back today, 27 stocks down, 22 up. ONGC contributed most with very high volumes, followed by Reliance, ITC, HUL, Infosys, HCL. Titan reported poor business numbers. It contributed most to the downfall. Titan, HDFC Bank, TCS, Adani Ports, Divi Labs. Not too many stocks had high volumes. Nifty next 50 was even worse, 33 stocks down, 17 up. The consumption pack is at the top, Mariko, Godrej, followed by Gale, BL, Dabur. Bajaj Holdings. Bajaj Holdings is seesawing plus and minus every day. What was down most? Bank of Padoda, Canara Bank, Jindal Steel, Sriram Finance, Indigo. PSU Bank Index was bleeding everything down. My trades, I did not buy anything today, but I completed my exit in Persistent. It's still a fantastic company, just it is overvalued right now. I would buy it back soon, either if the stock falls or I'll revisit my IT strategy somewhere around US elections, OND quarter, which is October, November, December. For now, my IT holding has become zero. I might still trade, but not investing. My trading calendar, I was indicating a loss on Friday that I have moved to Tuesday. Today was a profitable day in options as well as cash market. Cash primarily persistent. Good money made on the recent gains. So I had left Friday with SBI in deep trouble, around 1.1 lakh loss. Today I did very little trades, but very aggressive trades because SBI was very choppy. Overall in the 855 PE, I did three trades which gave me a profit of around 30,000. It is showing 20,000 because this position was in loss, but overall 30,000 profit for the day. That profit will go into the PNL. This position was in a 1 lakh loss. It is now in 81,000 loss. SBI needs to fall a lot more for this position to become profitable, around 830 perhaps. The other two positions are doing fine for now. Overall, it will make money if SBI does not go up yet again. But I'm a bit scared because SBI is showing resistance at 900. Also the support is at 800 while there are other resistance and support zones but these are the firm ones. 
दिस इज टू बिग अरेंज सो लेट सी आई माइट स्क्वेर अप माई पोजिशन इन लॉसेज वेरी सुन सो वी आर एट द डोर स्टेप्स ऑफ रिजल्ट सीजन द बजट सीजन ऑल्सो इज इन फुल स्विंग इट इज अ फेंटेस्टिक टाइम फॉर ट्रेडर्स people who did not do panic selling on 4th of june they are sitting on huge profits and they are totally undecided whether to sell or buy for it sector watch out for the video which is coming up do let me know after seeing that video if you need a similar sector for the banking also i'll create one in the next few days thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow